Right, I'm intending to start a series, at least a mini series, and this is going to be the first video for that series. And as you can see here, the title of the question basically is why I enjoy. And I want to do this for a few different games, um, you know, hockey games that I really like. And I thought I would start with the game Doc Hockey. Again, I, I don't really have much, you know, visually for this one, but Doc Hockey in essence, is really just, you know, a sheet of paper and a deck of cards. And so that could actually, you know, I could put that, I might as well actually put the title Doc Hockey here, stands for Deck of Cards Hockey, um, because, you know, you quite literally, uh, again, with that and a sheet of paper, can play the game. And so the first thing I would say that I really enjoy about uh, Doc Hockey is its small footprint, its tiny footprint. I can play it just about anywhere. And in fact, I've said before, I've said in the past that I like to call this a bedside game, by which I mean I have literally played this game in bed just with a little little old lap desk that I have that I guess would normally, you know, you put a laptop computer on it. But again, I can have a deck of cards and a sheet of paper and just kind of sit there, you know, with my knees up sort of in bed and, and just, you know, play through a few games or whatever, uh, shuffle through the cards and things like that. So, um, it's a small footprint. It, it is a bedside game. You can have it on your nightstand or whatever, and you're not going to, you know, you probably still have room for other things atop the nightstand. So, uh, yeah, that that's the first thing that I enjoy about this game. And actually, another thing that I want to mention to you about this is a question that I've gotten from time to time here in the channel is, uh, and it's funny because they always mention a few other games, and this is never one of them. It's like, and I'm not going to answer that question because I, I don't have a preference. It really does come down to mood. But I've been asked, like, I don't know, shootout hockey versus Mike Owens hockey, uh, Mike Owens quick play for hockey, versus, like, maybe there's one other quick play game that gets brought up and into the mix when, um, when I've been asked that question on the channel, on this channel. And I, for a long time now, and this is another reason why I'm doing this video, is simply just to get this out of my head and, you know, make content. Because uh, this has been kicking around in my head for a little while, just do or just start something like this. But um, I don't enjoy dog ho hockey any less than any of those games. Like, I'm serious when I say, like, I again, I don't like saying, like, this is better than this and that, whatever. I don't like doing that kind of hierarchy. It does come down to mood for me. But um, I don't think of dog hockey as any less than those games. You know, even an established, uh, you know, well-known and well-liked um quick playing game like shootout hockey i put doc right up there with it i really do and i i've said this before too i give titles to two games i've said hockey bones is my favorite uh, hockey game my favorite tabletop hockey game just my favorite game and uh and this one here i i call it the most underrated because um again i can kind of understand because of the accessibility and the limited number of seasons and things like that it isn't always the easiest to find i can understand why this one is underrated i guess like i can understand why again it doesn't you know it doesn't get as much um i don't know discussion and you know the community uh, of of tabletop hockey games but again it really is a criminally underrated game in my opinion and so what i would add to this again is aside from the small footprint and it being a bedside game because you can make any game small it still has to be good um and and dog hockey certainly is and so uh I, I guess, you know, to compare it to Shootout for a moment, and again, I'm not saying that one is any better or any worse, but compared to Shootout and to Mike Owens, let's say, um, how do I how do I put this? Again, I, I'm, I'm doing this here kind of off the cuff, but um, I'm just going to put one word, timing. And again, this is not to detract from the others because I actually really like in Shootout when it's late in the period and uh, it's a close game or something like that and you get those zero minute cards that come up, those dramatic minutes where you might have multiple uh, scoring chances within a minute and then the Mike Owens quick play pro hockey when you're at the end of period three and you roll the one or the two and you know the goalie could be pulled and you could, in a sense, I mean, you could have technically in infinite opportunities to you know if you just keep rolling that white one or that white two and you're not actually advancing time uh the game could go on forever you know you could really suspend or draw out those final few minutes again if you keep getting the ones uh the ones and the white die i guess would be the one that doesn't advance minutes and then the one or the two for the scoring opportunity with an empty net so you know those games have those mechanics going for them but one thing that I really like about Doc Hockey, so a period is 32 cards. And so um, you know when the period will end. 
like you know how much time it's it's really easy to go through the cards and know how much time has elapsed how much time has gone by in the period how much time is remaining in the period it is and i like this especially when i'm playing this and i'm tired at the end of the day it is very much an idiot proof fool proof i should actually write that down so this is a very idiot proof fool proof uh game <laughs> you know even I can do it when I'm in some of the states that I'm in when I decide to turn on this camera and it's the end of the day and I'm tired and I've been swamped and I and it's really hot here and it's humid and muggy and I just want to play through something anyway. Um, it's nice to have a game that's really quite simple and, and plays itself practically. Um, and other than that too, I mean, the, so I've sort of, you know, skirted, gone around the edges here, but the gameplay itself is really good. And I, I thought actually the way that I would assess the gameplay itself, um, I'm going to write down here a few uh, cards. So so the aces and uh, tens, aces and tens, uh, face cards, those being jack, king, and queen, face cards, uh, jokers, um, and I have that funny feeling I'm, I'm leaving something. I'll, I'll discuss these two, though, first of all. What I really like about the way that, that aces and tens uh, work in the game is that they allow every player, no matter how poor the player is. And I've heard this, uh, you know, being given as a complaint for some other hockey games is that um, you have a player who can't score. And you're like, well, that's not realistic because even if the player had zero goals that season, I mean, he gets to the NHL for a reason. You know, I like to say that Everybody was like the Mario Lemieux. Every one of these NHL hockey players is like the Mario Lemieux of their household, their neighborhood, their block, probably even their community growing up until, you know, they're no longer the Bobby Orr or the Mario Lemieux because they 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 migrate out to bigger communities and play in higher level hockey leagues and, and, and so on. But you give any of these guys a scoring opportunity, they're going to it's going to find its way to the back of the net if it's a good enough chance. Uh, so the aces and tens, they allow any player to uh, either um, set someone up in scoring position. And it's a very simple game in that way as well. Basically, you're you're drawing a card to see if it goes to home or visitor. And then you're drawing a follow-up card to see if uh, that player for the home or visiting team uh, can maneuver the puck in the scoring position. And then the, uh, the next card you're looking at to see uh, the player who has the puck, who has the scoring chance, if it's somebody who's good and can likely score or not. And then... Um, with the uh, with the fourth card it, it it's done in sequences of four cards each and so with that fourth card you're just seeing depending on that player's ability to put the puck in the net whether or not that player can actually score and again i want to be very careful to criticize not criticize criticize is even the wrong word it's too strong a word right off the bat but i want to be very careful to sound like i'm talking down in any way another game when i say this but even compared to a game like shootout where when you have the scoring chance that follow-up fast action card you're just seeing whether it's like a goal or a save and it doesn't even really matter um, how good the goalie is or how good the player is. Well, in this instance, at least, it does matter how good that player is, what ability that player does have to score that goal. So this game does have that going for it, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. Um, so with the aces and tens, anyone can score. And then with the other players, like obviously if you have Bobby Hall, he can score on any, anywhere from like a four to a 10 or something like that. And then of course, with the ace thrown in there as well, you know, if Bobby Hall has it in the slot, it's, it's he's going to bury it more often than, than not. Um, uh, and so, but at the same time, you have face cards, which depending on when they come up in the sequence are either going to evaluate the opposition defense or they're going to evaluate uh, the opposition netminder. So there is way, it, it doesn't just like once you have possession, it doesn't always depend solely on, and I realize now this is, I don't have enough room to write all this down, things that I really enjoy about this game, but um, please listen, I guess. <laughs> uh, so with the face cards again, it's not always going to depend on how good the player is on uh, the team that has possession at the time and whether or not they're able to, to score a goal. Uh, it could, in fact, come down to the opposition's defense and or their goaltending and, and how good they are. And so that's tested, I guess, um, what's, I don't know, what's, um, what is 12 into 52? Almost a quarter, potentially almost a quarter of the time. Uh, it's it's going to come down actually to how good the opposition defense is, and it's not always solely in the offense. And I feel like that's realistic. I mean, sometimes in a hockey game you score a goal because you're just a really strong team offensively, but at the same time you might also score because the opposition falters defensively. And sometimes it's 
you know, it's there's a tug of war there, right? It's 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 more sometimes it's more one than the other. Or it's some combination of the two. Um, so so there it has that going for it. Actually, I remembered another one that I wanted to write down here now, and I hardly have the space to. But the 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 blackjack, uh, the jokers. Even though they are only two of fifty two, they do give a little home ice advantage. And you might think, well, that you know that doesn't have much of an impact, but for some reason, play, you know, with, with play, I've been able to bear it out that 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 really can you know you have a scoring chance but it's the visiting team and oh it's a joker and suddenly you know that great chance and then it's late in the game and you're down by a goal and you know that flipping joker is there right and and so suddenly you know you've been denied a chance and then the blackjacks because it's it's a really it's a clever subtle little way to work injuries into the game um I should mention actually one thing that this game does not have. If you are someone who, for whatever reason, you like penalties in your hockey game, you like the hockey game that's really realistic, and even though penalties, they sort of weigh a game down and it takes more time to play through a game that has them, if you don't like the fact that penalties are in this game, much like in the game Mike Owens Quick Play Pro Hockey, entirely abstracted and you have to consider that a team's offensive and defensive strengths I, I trust anyway in the formula because I'm pretty sure it's based on their the entirety of their season stats which would include time in the power play and time shorthanded that all of that is baked into the uh, to the formulas for this game I've not actually tried to make teams and seasons for this I know some other people who have um, when I want a season or some teams for this I, I go to the expert for that so I'll, I'll get Michael to make you know a season for me and uh, so yeah that and again I realize again there's not much visually here I thought I'd just show uh, this is the Calgary Stampeders Edmonton Flyers these are the teams from the 1963 WHL uh, Western Hockey League set that I fully intend to I know they came up in a project rollout video but I ended up rolling out hockey bones instead for the following project but just because the role didn't come up with the WHL this time that will that's still going to be eligible, I guess, in a future uh, Project Rollout video. So I've not played this game in a while, sadly, re regrettably, and like it seems to be the case when I do a lot of these videos, I'm not in like the ideal position, like my timing sucks. And, you know, it'd probably be better if I were in the middle of a season replay with this or something to actually do a video on Doc Hockey. But Doc Hockey was the first video that I did on this channel ever. It was literally video number one for Hockey Unreal, which at the time I think was called Unreal Hockey for a day or so. And I like the joke, although it isn't really so much of a joke. I'm not even necessarily kidding when I say that I started making a channel because I got tired of waiting for Peter Miller to make a video on Doc Hockey. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I, so, it, so to me, it made a lot of sense when I decided that I would start this series and why I enjoy it. It just made a lot of sense that I would want to talk about Doc Hockey. And so again, to the few people who have asked me, uh, like if for like a, you know, they want a shoot up versus Mike Owens, you know, which, and there's, there's one other game in that equation too. And for whatever reason, it's escaping me right now, but a few of the really good quick play hockey games and, and, and we know what they are and asking me which one, um, which one I prefer, and no, I'm not answering that question because I don't have a preference. Uh, but I do put this one in that league, in that category of uh, just really excellent uh, uh, games. And so given, um, given certainly, I mean, all and deservedly so, given all the positive attention that Shootout has, has received in the community, and uh, Mike Owens as well. I think Mike Owens himself, he summarized it really well, actually, in his Digital to Dice interview when he said something to the effect of, uh, because m my games are free, people think that they're not good or something like that to play, which, by the way, could not be further from the truth. Uh, Mike Owens' Quick Play Pro Hockey is, a, in my opinion at least, is a fantastic game. And um, I don't know, one that he probably totally could, actually, if he wanted to monetize it and, and make some money for it. I know certainly I'd have no problem paying for some seasons. I'm not the type of player, by the way, who hoards seasons, who collects them en masse. I basically, I know some people are, and, you know, that's perfectly fine also. But I tend to wait until I have a project, an idea for a project, and, and then that's when I'll go and get the season that I want for the project. And that's how I keep things, I guess, from piling up in you know where I live and getting too bulky and I'm in an apartment in Asia you know I don't have a big house with a big studio basement or any I don't have a studio B or anything like that so 
um, I do what I can, you know, with what I have. And so this, you know, this is what makes most sense to me and is most convenient for me. I'm getting off topic now, of course, but uh, like I do best, but, um, I, uh, yeah, it, this, again, this game, it doesn't have a whole lot of seasons available for it, which given what I just said, I don't necessarily mind because there are still a few seasons, you know, projects that I would like to play with this game that I've yet to play. So in my position, how can I complain about there not being more seasons? Like I know some people would or might when I, I still haven't played all that I want to play with this game. So until I at least arrive at that point, I really have no complaints. And if I if and when I arrive at that point, I just ask Michael to make uh, <laughs> more teams and another season for me. So it's stock hockey. It's a fantastic game. It's criminally freaking underrated. Um, well, but you use a deck of cards. That's not hockey. Yeah, no, you can't play hockey with a deck of cards. No, you can't play hockey with a deck of cards. I... I'll even admit it. I initially was kind of like cards and hockey. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to play it. <laughs> Try it out. Play it. It works. It it oh, it works so well. Um, and uh, it, again, in my opinion, like it does, it works incredibly well. Um, and so I would like to include this to to again to circle back to those who have asked that question about, you know, a great quick play game. I would like to offer this as an option that I think is no less outstanding uh, than those other uh, options um, aforementioned there. Those being the shootout, Mike Owens, Quick Play Pro Hockey. And that other one, for whatever reason, is escaping me right now. I know there's another Quick Play Hockey game. I like that, though, I guess. I like that we're in, as Ron Jockett likes to say, the golden age of games. Um, and uh, there is, there's a variety of excellent uh, options uh, you know, right now available to the community so anyway i guess when you come into something like this off the cuff and with the off off the cuff and without a script it's difficult to try to figure out how to wrap something like this up so doc hockey yes doc hockey okay bye for now